when we work so hard on our subjects, our degrees, our postgraduate degrees, it's all about focus and narrowing down. But we're still humans. You cannot neglect that you are a human. You have to nurture it. We have to learn to be kind. We have to learn to relax, when to work hard. We have to learn when to take advantage of a moment. Because moments like this, heavy snow in Birmingham or whatever, they don't happen often. And if you don't acknowledge some of these things, well, you just aren't going to have as much fun and we're obligated to have fun as humans, at least in my view. So, tip one, acknowledge a moment. Further to that point I was making, as that tower bongs in the distance, there's this idea I've been hearing about that a genius, like, I don't know, Isaac Newton or something, um, like, those people are intrinsic, intrinsically kind of mean, kind of bad, but that's okay because they're really smart and they contribute a lot to the progress of humanity. To which I say, no, stupid, terrible idea. Science and technology is in part the bedrock of our civilization. And if the people making part of the world don't know how to be nice, don't know how to be kind, don't understand how things can be used maliciously, then, well, we might all be doomed. So I say, throw away your geniuses, throw away your Newton, he was me. I hate the idea that a person who's good at their job, or who people think, uh, oh, they're a genius, they're single-handedly pushing forward the frontier. What a guy, it's always a guy. Um, resist that, ignore that, outright just say no. Oh. Everything is a collaboration. People are greater than any single person. So there is no excuse not to be kind. Absolutely none. And even when things are hard, it's tough. Well, sure, we all make mistakes. And that's what an apology is for. That's a bonus tip. Best thing I ever learned, how to make a good apology. Half of it's saying it, the other half's living it. So I suppose that's tip number two. You're part of society. Learn how to be kind. You can't just ignore. Yeah, sociology, anthropology, psychology, philosophy. They have vital things to tell us about who we are, who we can be, and how we all affect each other. And at the very, very least, if it doesn't affect your science, well, you might unintentionally become a better person. Third, I don't know, get a hobby, go outside, you nerd, or go in, go to different insights, like, instead of, you know, science inside, board game inside, or something else like that. Who knows, but the world's more than science, a lot more than science. So I think I'm happy to leave it there, as it were. One, treat yourself kindly. Two, treat others kindly. Three, do more than just one thing. Ideas, much like people, work best in cohort, in concert with another. Just as we shouldn't, you know, take seriously the claim that one person alone can march things forward. One idea cannot. You yourself have to be this large symphonic mix of influences and ideas. It's all part of this work, you see, of not just being in the world as a person, but being of it, belonging to it, learning from it, and contributing to it. Because, yeah, anyone can make a new thing, but make a new thing well, to make the world better.
that's what it's all for. Wow. Oh. Different atmosphere. You tell terms over, it's physically impossible to work.